Mauricio Shogun Hua, Chuck Liddell, and here we go. Chuck Liddell, if there has been a weakness, if there has been a fight in which he was not at 100%, oftentimes you look at his cardio, don't you? Well, what happens with Chuck, sometimes I think he takes fighters a little lightly and doesn't train quite as hard for a fight that he doesn't think is going to be as big a challenge, and that's where he's had problems in the past. Just missed with that one. Chuck Liddell, with his ability to counter, isn't afraid to let a fighter start to feel comfortable with their striking game because the minute they do, oftentimes it's good night. He lures them into a trap, and he's excellent at capitalizing on just the smallest openings. Listen to this building, partner. Is this any good or what? From this position, Shogun's going to try to do what he did to Quentin Jackson. He brutalized Quentin Jackson with a one-round stoppage. Joe, one of the reasons Chuck Liddell is willing to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody is that he can not only dish it out, but he can take it, too. He's got a great chin. Chuck loves to explode with that big right hand. Chuck Liddell is an outstanding Kempo kickboxer, which means he has Muay Thai skills. Part of Muay Thai, Joe, is, is working in those tight quarters and the elbows and the dirty boxing. Chuck would rather push away, though, and keep distance, wouldn't he? Well, he likes to have a nice, uh, a nice amount of distance to set up those big strikes, big punches, and big kicks, but he's also capable of fighting in close. Good takedown, Shogun on his back. Shogun can submit guys off his back, Mike. Oh, he got reversed. He's got his back, Joe. He's got both hooks in. Joe, not many people can do it to Chuck, but if you can get him mounted or you can even pass and get to his half guard, there is an opening that can be taken advantage of. Well, he's not used to being in that position. You know, he's, he's so dominant, and he's usually either on top or he's usually standing up and avoiding the takedown. If you can get him down, that's a bad spot for him. Oh, he's got, oh, his, he's got his back. What he's got to do that a lot of guys fail to do is transition to a body triangle, what we call the anaconda. Lock off the body to keep him from turning over and, and falling into guard. He caught him with that overhand right, Joe. Pushing forward quickly. Headshot! Final 30 seconds. Non-title fight. Scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Man, that knee landed heavy. Caught him with a kick. Joe, I don't know how either of our fighters survived that round. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, either one of those guys could have gone out in that round, Mike. Let's take a look at some of the action here. Second round, not a title fight, so this fight's scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Chuck Liddell uses what we call his wrestling in reverse. We don't often see him go for the takedown, but because he has great takedown defense, that forces their, his opponents to fight his game. Yeah, he is really the first guy that really uh, perfected that style, the style of using his great wrestling to avoid the takedown and to force guys to stand up and trade with them. And he has forced many a great submission specialist like Marula Bustamante was forced to stand with him. So many fighters are forced to play Chuck Liddell's game because his wrestling is so strong. Oh, he's mounted him. Spuns around, take his back. Mount again. He spun around, he's taking his back. Over the top with the right. Oh, big right hand. And it is all over. Winner by knockout. Can we see it again? button.